Sunday, May 14th, 2023, around 10 a.m. Do a little scythe session update. Um, so I started right about here. I can't see, maybe actually right here. So right here is where I started and now I'm all the way over here. So I'm making good uh, way and each row gets rolled and then put off to the side for applying to the garden later on. I have applied two full rows to the garden and the rest has been rolled to be saved for when the garden needs more food. And tomorrow is May 15th, which makes it a prime nutritional peak of the grass. At least so the scythe book says. As I walk up here, you can notice the grass is a little bit taller right over here. There's gray grass in the first scythe sesh because from last year when the grass died, um, I didn't cut the grass all the way back down to the ground. So kind of get that last uh, year's remnants in there. And then for the second cut in a month, It'll just be smooth sailing and 100% lush green. So this is where the grass is at right now. So by next Thursday, it'll be a little bit taller and uh, make for really nice scything. Not too much has changed in the garden other than harvesting some Mizuna Asian greens and some French breakfast radishes. There's the rest of the field. And yeah, they just go all the way down. So I'm gonna keep on going north to south. I don't know how far that way I'm gonna make it. And then I will start coming um, once this grows back up in a month, I will start mowing uh, east to west. So I'll be doing a garden update here before the end of the month. Uh, I can take a walk over real quick just to look at it. And uh, yeah, we'll do a nice what's growing in May before the end of the month. Some of the potatoes are starting to come up. Uh, all the garlic, radishes in there. All right, so stay tuned. We'll see you on the next one. Much love, wholeness, beautiful spring in Vermont. I hope you're enjoying spring or fall, wherever you are. Yes.